morning, Keyport High School. This is another episode of Key TV, the key to your news. I'm Tech. And I'm Touchdown. It's our post-Thanksgiving show, and we have some great segments lined up for you this morning. How was your Thanksgiving, Tex? Before or after the turkey got away? Yeah, never mind. Let's begin by celebrating those who were named Students of the Month for October. Ninth grader, Samantha Bubble. Tenth grader, Troy Alvarez. Eleventh grader, Alyssa Rebello and 12th grader, Julian Rebello. And a special thank you to our custodial and maintenance crew for being staff of the month for October. <laughs> Congratulations to all student athletes who have been trying out for all the different sports we hold here at KHS. Have a great season, and we hope to hear about the good things taking place throughout the season. Coaches, remember to share your highlights and short video clips for our next show. Also, a special congratulations to the Drama Club recently Students auditioned for a shot at the musical Young Frankenstein coming to stage February 2019. To see the cast, let us stop by the bulletin board near room 306. And now this special message about vaping from the members of Lifeline. Every year in the United States, over 100 kids are hospitalized under the age of 6 for poisoning from vape liquid. Vape liquid can have five times as much nicotine as cigarettes. One jewel pod equals one pack of cigarettes. One fixed pod equals one and a half packs of cigarettes. After a few weeks of vaping, teens can develop withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, sleeping problems, and becoming ill-tempered. The main ingredient in vape liquid turns into formaldehyde, which is known to cause cancer when eaten. Thank you to Mr. Rojas and Ms. Tyne for sharing those powerful messages with your students. Collectively, the students of TV production set up a project where a few teachers and staff members were asked to come up to the studio to talk about their careers and some highlights of teaching at KHS. Little did they know that they were in for a pleasant surprise from some of us. Take a look. Hi, I'm Ms. Harrison and I teach English here at Keyport High School. So I've been here for 23 years now and I teach English and special ed English. And what it's like to be a teacher, I mean, it's a lot of responsibility. You know, I feel that my job is not just to teach, it's to educate. Hi, I'm Mr. Alvarez, I'm class of 2013. And what brought me back to Keyport High School was, this is my home. My name is Mr. Glassman. I teach at Keyport High School. This is now my third year teaching here. I enjoy teaching here more than I've any other place that I've taught before. Hi, my name is Mrs. Rojas. Uh, originally, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a nurse. And I went to vocational school for nursing. Hi, I'm Mr. Waters, principal at Keyport High School. Uh, what I love about being a principal, especially here at Keyport, is getting to see all the wonderful children on a regular basis and the awesome teachers and staff that I have here at the school. I have been loving my time here at Keyport. It's been very exciting. I've met a lot and worked with a lot of students who I still keep in touch with today. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, I started out being a biology major and I switched to being a history major because it's very important to be able to teach our students what it is to truly be an American citizen. My entire heart and soul and everything inside of me wanted to look at books forever and always. And I tried to think of creative ways in which I could do that for the rest of my life. And being able to come back and give back to the football team as a coach was another huge opportunity. A highlight of my career here at Cooper High School, um, I would say my top a top highlight would be being the coach of the first ever Keyport High School soccer team in the history of, of KHS, and we did really well, and it was really fun. Um, working my way up in my career to become a principal has always been rewarding for me, um, not only for the wonderful things that come along with the job, but the fact that it gives me an opportunity to have an impact on all the students, not just a select group of kids in my classes. I think specifically the reason I like to teach here is because Keyport is a family. Hey, Ms. Harrison. Hey! Uh, Ms. Harrison, when I started my freshman year, I was completely dreading the fact that I had English. I did not enjoy reading and I did not enjoy writing and I was completely bored in English class. When I started, when I thought this would, when I started, 
I thought this would be just another class that I disliked, but all that changed when I entered your class. I started to look forward to going to English every day. The fact that no matter what kind of question I had, you always helped me, when I, and when I struggled, you never gave up on me, which because of you changed my whole opinion on English. And I just wanted to say thank you and that I let you know that I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna make you cry on camera. Uh, hi, Miss Wednesday. Hi. Um, I prepared a letter to do about my reading. Sure. Okay. Um, dear Miss Wesley, I am writing to tell you how much that I appreciate the things you taught me. Even though I don't talk about the things you taught me, I know that I would not admit to be any less dedicated in my future, more professional than you. If all the teachers that I will meet from now on would be exactly like you, my life would end up with me being the richest person in the world. But as I am sure there is not a person like you, I would try my best in keeping your image in front of the class as clear as possible. Thank you again. Please make a great favor to the world. Always stay exactly as you were the first time I was in your class. Thank you, Sylvia. No problem, sir. I can't. Sure. Dear Mr. Wesley, I don't think you hear this often, but I just wanted to interrupt and let you know how much I appreciate you. When I started freshman year, I thought I was going to hate history class due to past experiences in middle school. But as soon as I entered the class on the first day, I knew it was going to be an interesting year. You taught me how to appreciate the past. So thank you for teaching me um, to appreciate my favorite subject again. I would also like to thank you for teaching me how to bowl. When I first started, I was nervous and kind of shy. But I was also embarrassed when I got better balls. <laughs> but you taught me to keep trying. Because of you, I challenged myself to keep doing better in bowling. Thank you for shaping me into the better person I am today. I'm saving up, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. When I first had your class, I knew I would like history. All year I was dreading the subject, but you turned it out around. Because of how you include us in your teaching and your fun antics, I got through it. I know I may not have done all my work all the time, but you showed that you cared about my grade and me as a student. You always had faith in me, and now I can appreciate history so much more for what it really is and enjoy the class. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Alfred. Hi. I'm here to let you know how much you mean to us as students here at Keyport. <laughs> and you make us feel safe while giving us com comedic relief in our day, whether it's we need help from you or we just want to play in gym, kickball, really. Um, you really are one of the best things at Keyport, and we hope to see you for, here, for years to come. And even when you're a sub and we need to pipe down in there, you're the best and we'll always rem remember you. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Rojas. Hi. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being a great teacher, a great role model, and just overall a great person. I've probably spent more time in your class than I have in any other class in this school and you've helped me so through so many problems. So I just really wanted to say thank you for everything you do and I'm so excited to have your class next semester. From Jack. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. Dear Mr. Waters, I only came to Keyport less than two years ago, but it didn't take long for me to feel welcome. I believe this is mostly due to your leadership. You and the rest of the staff at KHS make sure, to the greatest extent, that every student is given the opportunity, opportunity to thrive, and I truly feel that you have given that opportunity to me. Whether it be helping me take a step in my, de my design career by assisting me in a project to make a postcard, or even just coming by classrooms and saying hello. I appreciate the enthusiasm that you come to school with every day, even when your job may be a little too stressful. To a large extent, I feel you are very adamant, adamant about in making students have a good experience at KHS, or even simply just a good day. I, among many other students, appreciate all you do for our school. Thank you. Yours respectfully, Shannon. Oh, Shannon, that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Taylor and Mrs. Waters. Thanks for being stuck. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Thank you, Ms. Cowan, for being awesome. Thank you, Mr. Roby, for helping with my math homework. Thank you, Mr. Shores. Thank you, Coach Bay. Thank you, Ms. Cowan. But once a Red Raider, always a Red Raider. Stay keyboard strong. wasn't it? 
Matt Twig went around the halls before Thanksgiving, and it's quite spectacular. Here he is. It's Twig in the halls, 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 halls. What we're doing? Twig is in the halls. Shot Cam. Shot, 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 Five seconds, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving. What'd you just say? I don't even understand. What? What are three things you eat on Thanksgiving for Skittles? Five seconds. Oh, you winging, bro. I'm not winging, come on. I don't know. You can't I'm nervous, things? I don't know. Why are you nervous? You're no, just I don't walking. know. You just hopped up on me. Oh, cool. You are on the last episode, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you were. Five seconds for Skittles. Name three things you eat on Thanksgiving. Turkey stuffing potatoes. There you go, my man. Chris Taylor, oh my god, for Skittles. Five seconds, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving. Turkey, mashed potatoes. Stuffing, gravy, sugars. Donut. 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 How are you doing? Good. Uh, ten seconds. Name three things you eat on Thanksgiving for Skittles. Oh, for Skittles? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mashed potatoes, yeah. turkey, and today. I don't know. Ah, uh, well. For our Skittles, name uh, in ten seconds. Name three things you eat on how. Uh, Keep saying Halloween. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yes. Cranberry stuffing turkey. Have fun. <laughs> He's coming out of the cafeteria right now. Let's give it a second. There's our contestant. He's bald. Hey, everybody. Yeah. In 10 seconds, name three things that you eat on Thanksgiving. Go. Turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Name three things you eat on Thanksgiving for Skittles. <laughs> Today. <laughs> mashed potatoes, baby, baby. Damn. I can't hey, Skittles. <laughs> Abate, oh my god. Five seconds, name three things you eat on uh, Thanksgiving. Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Alright, you got five seconds, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving, go. Think, uh, you eat turkey, uh, gravy, mashed potatoes. Ah, I'll give it to him. <laughs> Sorry, watch this watch. I like your shirt. Buzz man. Hi guys. Let's look at the holes here. Hey there. You got five seconds, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving, go. Turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy. Here's Skittles. Clay Matthew, Clay Matthew. Mm -hmm. Quick question. Um, in five seconds, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving. Go. Uh, turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. All right, this. Another one. one. <laughs> For Skittles, name three things you eat on Thanksgiving. Three things I what? Eat on Thanksgiving. Stuffing. Nice. Turkey. Nice. Cranberry sauce. Nice. Here we go. Skittles. Thank you. Bye. Should we go for Zach Butt twice? Yeah, we're good. Zach Butt! Mashed potatoes and stuffing. There you go. Yeah. Question, question, mashed potatoes and stuffing? Nope, nope. No, 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 no,
Hey guys, get in for the picture. Everyone say turkey. 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 for having family and friends. I'm thankful for the food on our table. I'm thankful for this house and the money I can provide for my family. And I'm thankful for everyone's health. Let's eat. There's no way I'm gonna lose to this man. I'm not gonna go down without a fight. the game and we normally would have to eat dinner at like four o'clock. Um so basically now that I understand that your dad does not coach anymore, do you guys like still watch football on Thanksgiving? Yeah whenever there's a game we like to watch or sometimes near high schools have a football game so we still like to go. Alright thank you very much. Sam Arkin we're here with legend Tony Gonzalez. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. So, uh, you're an NFL legend. Have you played on Thanksgiving before? I have played on Thanksgiving before. My 16 seasons, I played about 12 Thanksgiving games. Best experience of my life. That's nice. So, uh, was it a big deal to uh, play on Thanksgiving? Yeah, it was a big deal. You get to play in front of, you know, millions of people, watching at home, watching at the stadium. It's great. So, uh, last question. Uh, was it like fun to play on Thanksgiving? No, oh, it was so much fun. Everybody, you know, just wants to have fun, wants to get home and eat, you know. That's it. Thank you, Tony Gonzalez. You're welcome. Yes, I used to coach in a rivalry game uh, when I was the head coach of Plainfield High School. We played against Westfield twice. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's one of the. It's the longest Thanksgiving Day game in the state of New Jersey, and both towns care a lot about the game. There's a lot of passion and there's a lot of excitement every year. People look forward to that game. It's a lot of fun. What do you think the correlation between Thanksgiving and football? Thanksgiving is a big family meal. Football, for me, is the secondary family. You have your primary family, your mom, your dad, your brothers, and all that. Uh, for me, every football team I've been affiliated with has always been my second family. And both the principles of Thanksgiving, eating with your family, and football, you know, working with your family, they come together on that day. And that's what makes it special, being able to be with your family and watch or participate in some type of football activity. As you can see, football plays a big role on Thanksgiving. 
Whether it's playing or tuning into the NFL games while enjoying your delicious Thanksgiving meals. Oh lordy Lou, Chelsea, Jared, and Grace here coming and I have nothing prepared for Friendsgiving dinner. Hi! <sighs> oh my god Chelsea, I can't find anything I need for the lasagna. I need the ricotta cheese, the ground beef, the pasta sauce. Oh my god, I have no time for this tomfoolery. Let's see. Why do you have cranberry sauce? <laughs> I don't see any of those ingredients here, but we have the right ingredients for pumpkin spice rice krispie treats! Just might work. Hey, Sean. Yeah? Did you hear the rumor about butter? No. Well, I'm not gonna spread it. <laughs> Hey, Sean, who else a pumpkin across the road? Who? A crossing gourd. <laughs> Hi, I brought the apple pie. It's still hot. It's burning my fingers. Finally, someone normal has arrived. Here's Gracie, all the way from Australia. Come help us stir in the spices. Everyone's coming over soon. We have to cut the treats. Wait, stop. Shouldn't we let this cool for 10 minutes? Where's Jared? Classic Jared. <laughs> Every year, there's always that one item everyone wants, and there's only one day you can get it. Over 16.4 million Americans shop on Black Friday, and only one can have the special briefcase. This Friday, that briefcase will be mine. There is no competition. No one can keep up with me. I'll get that briefcase. I just want the briefcase. The eye black just looks cool. Sexuality Alliance attended the 15th annual GSA Forum held at Middletown South High School on Saturday, November 17th, where they participated in workshops throughout the day and got a greater sense of appreciation for the LGBTQ plus community. There was a lot of love happening at the forum, and every student who attended walked away with something new to bring back to, to their school, community, and family members. Every day at our high school, and quite possibly at other high schools around the country, students are heard using derogatory terms that can be highly offensive. Around here, we need to understand that whether you mean it or not using it, terms like gay or retarded are flat out un unacceptable when used in a negative manner. Take a look at the public service announcement created by our very own members of Keyport's GSA. Yeah. 
gay. Being gay isn't a joke. If you wouldn't laugh at someone straight, then why would you laugh at me? Another essay? Ugh, this homework is so gay. So gay. Really? Of all the words you could use, you use that one. Yo, hurry up. I think she's gay. I think she's a look at this. I'm just trying to get to class. Let's hope that message starts to stick. It's good to see students rallying for a change. Touch, did you know Mickey Mouse just turned 90 years old last week? Gotta hand it to him, he looks good for 90. On November 18, 1928, Mickey Mouse made his first on-screen debut, all thanks to his creator, Walt <laughs> Disney. <laughs> While the backstory to how Mickey was actually created is a long and complicated one, there is no denying that he is the most recognized animated character around the world. From food labels to parades, collectibles, fashion, and more, it's easy to see how he's loved by so many. With the addition to other notable characters such as Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and Pluto, Mickey Mouse was branded as a household name with his very own club, memorabilia galore, and even the happiest places on earth, the Disney parks. Mickey's approach to others who are different is an extension to life. Everyone deserves a little kindness. Perhaps Mickey reminds us that it's okay to feel like a kid no matter how old we may grow. He is a symbol of innocence, kindness, and determination, with just the perfect amount of silliness. Parks in California, Florida, Tokyo, and Paris, the legacy continues and is ever evolving. In the words of the late great Walt Disney, I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Our final public service announcement was created by first-time director Jillian Johnson and edited by Shannon Smith. TV Production Club had an assignment to produce a 60-second PSA for the second annual film contest for suicide awareness campaign. The results end with a positive message that can be implemented into all of our lives. You are not alone. Why is there nobody to talk to? Nobody notices me. Why am I so alone? Are you okay? I'm fine. I used to feel the same way as you. You don't really know how I feel, though. Sometimes the signs are really hard to notice. Did you talk to someone to get help? I called the second floor youth helpline. And it worked? Yeah, the volunteers gave me really good advice. And they made me see the true potential that I really have. Here, let me see your phone. Here. Now you have the youth hotline number, and you also have mine. And I'm here if you ever need me. Thank you. If you ever need someone to talk to, do not be afraid to ask. Someone is always there for you. The Second Floor Youth Helpline offers anonymous help at 888-222-2228. And National Suicide Prevention Helpline offers nationwide help at 1-800-273-TALK. You are not alone. Let's wrap up our show with a segment by Jaden Graham called Good News, because let's face it, we could all use a little good news in our lives. <laughs> This is Jaden here with Key TV. Ms. Harrison, you got any good news? I'm going to go see Fantastic Beasts on Friday. Spectacular. Thanks, Ms. Harrison.
<laughs> We're here with Mr. Wesley. Do you have good news? I have fantastic news. Danielle bowled her highest score ever in bowling, a 164. Good job, Danny. Round of applause. There she is. She's right there. Look at her. She's hiding now. Good news. It's great news. Woo! We're here with these people. You got good news? Uh, so me and Kyle are going to go to college together, and we're going to support them. Love that. <laughs> Kyle, you got good news? I'm friends with the biggest stud in the school, Jocelyn. Love her. <laughs> we're with Miss Harrison again. She has more good news. Cookie orders came in. Fantastic. Wait, wait, wait! I'm not ready! I'm not ready! I'm not ready. <laughs> she wasn't ready! And we're with Paige, and she has good news. Getting my paycheck on Friday. That's fantabulous. Oh, Target. Hello. All right, tell us some good news you have. Uh, I got a new conditioner. Nice. Really fluffy. Yeah, I love fluffy. It. Woo. <laughs> okay. We're here with Wes. He has more good news. I have even more good news. I guard the bathroom and I make sure that everybody, hurry up, let's go. There's a line. We gotta get the guy moving. Why? Because people need to use the bathroom, and that's great news. Okay. <laughs> good news is, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna go, on. go ahead. All right, we're here with Mr. Snyder. You got good news? I have great news. I, I, I am teaching Spanish the next class, and I speak it very well. No te espero mañana lo que puedas hacer hoy. Si, senor? Tuta la fuf. Let's go. We're here with Miss Cowan, and she has great news. I have such great news. I think I have a crush on Rami Malek. He plays Freddie Mercury in the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Oh, my God. Such great news. Look at that. <laughs> you can do it over. We're here with Salvatore. He has good news. I got 100 on my pre calc test. Oh my god, yay! That's all the time we have for today, Touch. What a great show. We hope you all enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. If you have any ideas for our next show airing before our winter break, send them to Ms. Cowan's email. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, KHSQ TV, so you can watch us again and again. Have a great day and enjoy the upcoming holiday season. This has been Touchdown, signing off. And I'm Tex. This, this has, has been, been Key TV, TV, the key to your news. news. But look at him! Look! Look! I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, rat. You mean? Beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes.